My, my story comes out of England, the UK, and it seems that they play as many games and semantical games, especially with cannabis and hemp. And uh, there was a, there's a company over there that was importing CBD oil. And I don't know where it came from, but they were importing it. And then they were cutting it and making different uh, strengths of CBD. But as we all know, if you extract it from the plant, it comes along with some THC. Okay. So in England, instead of 0.3% THC, it's 1% THC. If you got 1% or less, it's hemp. You know, the worst weed I ever smoked back in the day still had 3% or so. So 1% really doesn't get you high any more than taking cough syrup does. So anyway, um, there was a part of the uh, the hemp law or the drug laws there that said if um, if you intend to instill or put into somebody a controlled substance, and the substance is outside of the hemp laws. So somebody in government decided, well, it, it, we're going to find that if you have THC in this and you can't prove it's intended to administer THC to people, we're going to uh, prohibit the importation of this stuff. So they did it. And this company was getting 90% of its profits from the CBD products it was selling in England. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> they're out of business, okay? They got a little pissed. Now, I don't understand all the, the court structures in England, so I'm going to tell you sort of what I understand in America and how it applies there. It looks like they went to the administrative law system, which is what we do when we're fighting the DEA. You go in and say, this was stupid. We want it to be overturned. And <clears throat> the government admitted that, yeah, we got a little overzealous here. And, and really, with its less than 1% THC, you don't have to prove that it's there to administer THC to you. It's hard to get it out. If you ever work for any companies that do this, you can extract CBD out, but to try to get all the THC out of it, it's difficult, if not impossible. So people don't do it. And that's sort of where they, they left it. And the court said, okay, what you did here is, is probably actionable in court. So they allowed it to go to the next court, not the administrative court, but the civil courts where, you know, you could be banged for some damages here. Now, I don't know how um, they attribute liability to the government in England, whether they're immune or things like that. But we're going to find out because if this company lost 90 percent of its income because the bureaucrat decided that, oh, here's a technicality. We're going to prohibit your entire business because we're reading something this way. Uh, I think that they should be spanked for some losses here. Because those of us trying to manip maneuver within these, you know, these semantical games, okay? And I don't know how you actually do this when the next person looking at it is going to have a different opinion about what some phrase or terminology means. We just don't have consistency. And I hope that as this goes forward that government in England gets spanks and has to, you know, reimburse these people some to make them whole for what some idiot did playing semantical games over hemp versus weed. So it isn't just us. It looks like you know, other places that are what we call, you know, Western democracies, liberal democracies, have their head up their ass about as much as we do over cannabis and hemp. So I'm going to throw it back to you guys. What do you think about this? And I don't think we can feel alone in stupidity over, you know, cannabinoid laws. Well, 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 Dale, I can I can tell you this much. I am I, I did not realize that uh, that Kim Rivers has been lobbying in the U.K., <laughs> she's been getting it she's been getting it in man Appar apparently she has been lobbying i mean because the, the 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 it's going down in florida based off of her accord and i was not under the impression that she was lobbying in the uk for the same thing well i'm gonna be interested to see how this rolls out and see who actually is involved here and doing what but you know th this will um I don't know if it's going to teach anybody any lessons in the UK because stuff like this in the, in our country doesn't teach policymakers much. So mm -hmm. like Becerra, you couldn't understand what was the schedule one or not. You ask the typical policymaker, what's the difference between hemp and marijuana? You know, they don't know what the hell they're talking about either. Very true. It's all Mitch McConnell's fault. Why is it Mitch McConnell's fault? Hemp bill. Cannabis is cannabis, man. <laughs> this is not a scientific nation. This is, uh, America, America doesn't respect I mean, what I science mean, is. I, I, I mean, you know, it, 
It's 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 the it's the drafters of the law. I mean, they they define it as cannabis sativa L, which is the same definition as marijuana in the Controlled Substances Act, Rico. So it's all the same thing. With the H, uh, uh, with the H, you know, you, you want to go back to prohibition. I don't think it's defined. Like, uh, I don't you, think you it's gotta, defined. Uh, lang with like language H. matters, and, and this can uh, lead to appeal later on down the line, uh, because semantics and syntax do matter. I don't and think people there's will bring H it up with lawsuits down think, the line. I don't think there's an H in any of it. I'm saying like, it's all, I mean, the only state that I know like that and, and you and you want to draw upon science like yeah. let's talk about science and, and scientifically it's all cannabis right the only the only jurisdiction that I've seen they use the H lately was New York interesting huh just saying maybe the yeah. H is for all of the haters out there on their free and open market that they actually have I'm all about love you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. call me <laughs> Rico love that's me what do you think about this, Yarrow? You're pretty quiet over there today. You're normally not this quiet. Well, look, my wife's family's from England, so I've been trying to hold hold my fire. Uh, look, there's a lot of the great things that England does well. Uh, rock music. Um, they don't do dental care very well. Their food is not <laughs> in the top five. Um, yeah, they don't do dental well, that's for sure. They don't they, do they, dental they, they well. Do and so well. this is this is a cavity on their front tooth. Yeah. Uh, on their cusp it or something like that. It's, it's troublesome for me. And, you know, I was watching a Guy Ritchie um, show on Netflix recently, and I noticed that a lot of his recent uh, shows or movies have been sort of an amalgamation of themes he's used in the past. And this one was about a boxer and a cannabis grow. And, uh, and it's hard for me to understand that there's this country that... <laughs> allows unregulated cannabis to be so valuable because it's not accessible. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I just think that's really not very evolved. I, it's just another, like, if we hadn't succeeded from them over tea, we definitely would be succeeding from them over weed because well, they're just not getting it right. And it's too bad because I think it's a great country. They've got some great people over there. You see how I channeled your little orange cute. Cheeto there, that's Jason. Cute. That's cute. And, that's cute. And, and some of them are good people. So I just some of them. I don't I don't know why <laughs> they're so behind the curve. When I think about countries that are really not embracing the newer paradigms, the two that come up for me are Japan and England. Uh, and I'm not sure who gains from this and why they're so entrenched in old thinking. But it's painful to see. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, because both countries drive on the wrong side of the road, and the cars are all backwards <laughs> too. So, well, well, it I goes will say along with the same thing. Uh, there, 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 are there are a couple backwards. things. There are a couple things that Englanders do very, very well. Okay, then I do want to give them a little bit of credit for this. Marmalade. Tea they do a darn good marmalade. Tea time. Hats. Women's hats. Tea time. Women's hats. Women hats. Yeah, women hats. Yeah, marmalade. And you can't forget crumpets. So I, my my wife is pretty darn English. Her whole family, very English. And I have to tell you, Jason, I know I'm an American because I'll take an English muffin over a crumpet. An English day. muffin. I see what you did there. That was very cute right there. Oh. <laughs> my, 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 my Double on tundra, little, right? His, yeah, his little English muffin top, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah, my homeboy yeah. back in Chicago, he's like uh, the heir to the... Uh, the Thomas Muffins <laughs> family, the English Muffins. Yeah, shout out to the English Muffins, man. They're fucking fantastic. I haven't had one in years. Hey, let, let me know if he needs another judge for the annual Nooks and Crannies competition. Oh, Because I can throw some oh, butter in there. I can get God. some cream cheese. I can Jewish it up and throw some locks on there. I'm even willing to go extra English and throw some orange marmalade on there. But I do like an English muffin. Doesn't Thomas's English Muffins, yeah. don't they have a contract with McDonald's, too? Aren't yeah. those aren't those the same 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 rolls that are used in egg McMuffins? I don't know. We don't I eat do there, that, Jason. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I do, I do Only know. Trump and you are into the fast food. I don't, I don't, I don't, food. I don't, I don't eat fast food. I'm just bodies. asking you guys a question. I'm asking. Hey, you guys we, we're talking about we're talking about English munchies right now. I know Yaro's thinking about putting some with Nutella. nooks and crannies. Yeah, yeah nooks and crannies. Nutella Another double entendre. Yeah, we're gonna putting let Nutella in his nooks and crannies and all up on his right there ball. with that muffin. Yeah, we're gonna let your muffin has nooks and crannies. Up the matzo balls all day. 